This video is sponsored by Sony Handycam. There are times where smartphone flashlights like this don't work beautifully with your pictures. Check out this Kickstarter project from Russia. This product is called iBlazer. It is a flashlight for smartphones that features four very bright LED lights with three levels. I'm Warren with KL Gadget Guy. This is episode 73 of Gadget Review featuring the iBlazer flashlight for smartphones. The iBlazer flash comes with a few accessories out of the box. So we have a TPU case right here that also acts as a diffuser for the flash. And we also have a cold shoe that attaches the iBlazer flash on top and you can slot it into your DSLR or mirrorless camera if you have a hot shoe. So let's put that aside. And this is how you charge the iBlazer flash by a USB to 3.5 mm cord right here and you can just simply plug into a wall charger and it will charge it straight away. So charging time isn't really long, it takes about 45 minutes to fully charge the device, so it's really, really fast. The iBlazer flashlight has four LED lights with a color temperature of 5600K, which means the LED bulb is pretty much on the white color side, which will introduce a more natural brightness to your dark pictures. And there's three levels of brightness. This is the first level, the second level and the third level which you can't actually see on camera of course so this flashlight is extremely useful when you're in a low light condition such as in events or even like clouds where you would like to take a selfie uh, but you don't have a flashlight on your phone's front facing camera or even your rear camera's flash isn't strong enough so this is how it actually attaches to your phone so i have a iphone 6 right here and my 3.5 mm headphone jack is actually located down below here. So the problem with the iBlazer flash, uh, which I've experienced right here, is that when you attach the devices that has the 3.5 mm headphone jack down below, is that the flash isn't really that you know it, it isn't really that effective in uh, taking pictures because it is not near to the camera, so it doesn't uh, supply sufficient light to the pictures. However, the, the, the effect is still there. It actually still makes your pictures look more natural even if you don't turn on the camera's own flash. But merely using the iBlazer flash will really give you great results. And I'm going to show you that later. So if you put on the phones that has a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top, it actually works better. And this is how it looks like. So you plug it on the top and you turn on the flash just like this. So it will act as a great front-facing camera flash as well as a rear camera flash if your phone doesn't have one, such as this Asus, Asus Platform Mini, it doesn't have a uh, LED flash on the back, so it should work pretty well for devices like this. So I'm going to take out the iBlazer just like this. So this is how I'm going to slot in the diffuser into the iBlazer flash, just like this. Um, just put it into the little hole right here, and there you go, just like wearing a case to the device itself, just like a smartphone. So this is how the iBlazer flashlight looks like once it is in the TPU case. It actually works pretty well. Next, let me show you some camera samples. All right, so this is my friend Wendy and I met her at the HB event recently and I've taken this picture using the Padphone S without any flashlight. So note that the environment uh, is very dark, it is at a club, so obviously you don't get very good lighting in a club and I took this picture with the Padphone S without any flash. So as you can see that, you know, details are still there, however, the, the lighting isn't good at all. So what happens when you take a picture with the eye blazer? Let's check it out. There we go. This is how great the eye blazer flashlight is. Look at her face, it's much more brighter and it looks very natural at the same time. So this is one of the pictures taken with the eye blazer flash and I'm really satisfied with it. Let's take a look at the second one. So this second picture is taken in total darkness. You basically see black faces if you didn't use any flash. So this picture is taken with the Padphone S flashlight. As you can see, the skin tone of these two persons, um, they look very white but not natural at all. By the way, this is Joseph Giovanni from YouTube and this is a great friend of mine, Tian Chat, who is a blogger that blogs tech and lifestyle. So what happens when I take the picture of these two persons with the eye blazer flash? Let's take a look. There we go. It actually looks darker than the previous picture as you can see right here. However, 
look at that skin tone it's more natural and on the last picture it actually looks not natural as well as out of focus because it is so dark that the camera can't even capture the focus of the picture but on this picture with the help of the iBlazer flash LED light which is switched to the highest brightness it is able to capture the focus point of this picture so definitely you can see the details of this picture right here and you, you will also find that color saturation is also much natural with the iBlazer flash so let's move on to the third picture the third camera sample is shot on my very own Panasonic Lumix G5 mirrorless camera and this is how you slot the iBlazer flash into a horseshoe there you go it's very simple and yet it's sturdy you can even rotate the light to wherever you want so let's check out on all the camera samples that I've taken this morning so this morning is the launch of the Meizu MX4 uh, in Bangsa which is with Lazada Malaysia and this picture is taken with the Xenon flash of the Lumix G5 look at the face of this man this is the sales manager for the for Meizu and you can notice that his face is very bright as usual this is the, the kind of quality that, that xenon flash will produce it looks too bright and it looks too shiny and it doesn't look nice at all so what happens when i take the picture with the eye blazer flashlight let's take a look look at this the overall brightness of the picture has been reduced but take a look at the face itself it looks much more natural to its original skin tone and it doesn't look overexposed that's the best thing of using the iBlazer flash and this is taken with the maximum brightness of the iBlazer flash overall I would prefer this picture as compared to this one which is too overexposed and you will need to do some manual editing job on your PC if you want to make it look more natural so with the iBlazer flash you no longer need that because it just simply works well as you can see right here Battery life of the iBlazer flashlight depends on your usage, of course. If you're always on the maximum brightness, you will basically get a battery life of less than 20 minutes. And if you're on the first one, of course, you can get up to one hour of juice on this small little device because the battery is only 110 milliamp hours. So do not expect a really long battery life on this. And do remember to charge it if you want to take it for long trips. And at least, it charges really really fast in our test. The iBlazer flashlight retails at $49.99 US dollars for the black and white version and up to $69.99 dollars for the premium version which is right here. It's quite expensive in my opinion however it is one of the few flashes that can really enhance low light photography and you should really buy it if you are serious on mobile photography or simply adding a very simple but useful gear to your camera collection. So as usual guys, thanks for watching this episode of Gadget Review and if you like what you saw, do click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting contents coming right up. We are on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter so do add us on the social media platforms and head on to klgadgetguy.com to check out camera samples taken with the iBlazer flashlight. Till then, my name is Warren and I will see you next time in our next video.